Faint at Night Eve MV recently dropped, and everyone's been vibing to it. The animation is mesmerizing. There's so much going on in the art and the song, so I went ahead and started making notes. I gathered everything that I thought was important, read multiple translations, and broke the song down scene by scene. This video was a lot of work, so make sure to like the video. The Laundra is an interesting place. It seems like the place where everyone in the Eve universe goes to get their laundry done. Laundress usually appear in other music videos, such as Soul Song, Pray of the Fools. The theme usually relates to washing away bad things, which is probably why you see Akame try to wash his heart, because it bears a lot of pain. The washing machine can also draw people into dark cycles. There are many examples where depression makes your thoughts go round in circles, which makes it all the more difficult to break out of those cycles. The lyrics, My Head Is Spinning, describes Akame's depressive thought cycle. Kumo resembles this, as his head is a literal spinning fan. It takes a moment, or realization, to break those cycles, whether that's with someone or yourself. All the characters have a moth theme. Akame has an earring, Zuken has sleeves which mimic the fluttering of moth wings at the start of the song. The chest also has what resembles moth wings. And Kumo is interesting, because the moth looks like it's stuck in a web. The wings are placed where the eyes would normally go. In nature, moth wings mimic the eyes of a predator to protect themselves. Kumo could be interpreted as a predator to Akame, which Kumo sees as a moth to catch, as he makes a moth sign at Akame, which Akame does the same with his own hands. His web-like hands try to trap Akame, which he manages to do only for Zukun to save him. Kumo is Akame's zingai and is visually represented as a shadow when approaching and tempting Akame. Interestingly, Zukun and Zumo both have snake features. Zumo's second form is a literal black snake, which could be interpreted negatively as temptation based on the story of Adam and Eve. While Zukun has a snake tongue, it is replaced with a party blower, which is something I only realised afterwards and thought Zukun was kissing Akame. The party blower could mean Zukun enjoys having fun and celebrates life. His outfit is white, which could relate to a white snake which is associated with living longer, fitting for the ending of the song. Zukun is considered a friend by some people, but I lean more towards Zingai. Zukun appears in the mirrors, as Akame's reflection, since Akame is the only one in the room. Akame's eyes are split, supposedly red for Kumo and yellow for Zukun. When the lyrics talk about a thumping heart, Zukun is banging on the washing machine, suggesting that Zukun is Akame's heart form. Akame may have put Zukun in the washing machine. You see Akame put white clothing and a black cloth with white swirls, which is something only Zukun wears. However, Zukun knows how to get out of the washing machine. You see him jump out at this scene, and he does the same for Akame later. Zumo slithers out of the dirty laundry basket, which only adds to his negative connotation. Akame's worn out shoes could be referring to how much he's travelled in life, or his struggle to continue to live. I've lived another day again. How many years does this make? There's also a direct reference to his shoes. Where are you going in those worn and tattered shoes? I asked you guys who had the better shoes between Akame and Patoon, and Patoon's crocs are still popular. My previous theory on Patoon bearing burdens fits well with Akame. Akame describes how lying is as natural as breathing, as well as his attitude to being curt or rude. Akame doesn't see himself in the best light, and is brought on by his depression, making his head spin. Akame finds himself being pulled by both Zukun and Zumo. He finds himself in the washing machine, where Zukun whispers, subscribe, but is ultimately taken by Zumo. If you notice closely, there's a hypnotizing swirl behind Kumo's fan, which takes Akame to this white world, possibly a crossing to the afterlife, where things are clear and calm in stark contrast to the lonely room stained with cigar smoke. Loneliness is affecting Akame as much as the poison from the cigars. Not so fun fact, loneliness is equivalent to smoking 15 cigars per day and shortens a person's lifespan by 15 years. So be nice in the comments. The theme of loneliness extends further, waiting on a lonely star, suggesting that Akame is alone in the universe, surrounded by its darkness. At first Akame resists Kumo, but, like a moth, 
Akame can't help but be drawn to the light. Zukun is seen to be the light, as in the end he's a Teru Teru Bozu doll, which is meant to bring sunshine. The day fades painfully, and I snuggle close to you. He's referring how the light is escaping him, and he's drawing closer to Kumo, as Kumo is shown holding Akame. The light behind Kumo is revealed to be a light bulb behind him, which is artificial compared to the window. Pinwheels are seen as an enjoyable, childish toy, which is fitting for Zukun. But many pinwheels are seen as burials of children, which are tied to the idea of a Buddhist philosophy of reincarnation. Some of the pinwheels have the same hypnotic swirl as Kumo's head, suggesting that Kumo is leading Akame by manipulation. The same could be said for the drugs that are scattered on the floor, where some of the pills are used to keep Kumo away, and many pills refers to an overdose as the large number of pinwheels overlap with the drugs, revealing that Akame is still in the laundry room, but is elsewhere in his head. When Akame is taken to the white space for the second time, he is laying on the floor instead of standing, suggesting that Akame is getting tired. His feet are starting to go black. There are many moments where Akame is talking about being hurt and his heart being fickle. The negative emotions overwhelm him. The day is fading is entering negative emotions, while the night fading, are those negative emotions being lifted. The pinwheel at the start of the MV represents Akame, as the pinwheel is in the same place as Akame, so when Zukun lifts the pinwheel, he's lifting Akame up. I've got a secret, there's a shadow behind my smile, and we have Kumo grinning at Akame. Akame has been going strong for many years, and it seems as though he's about to break and give in to his temptation. The memories I hold will guide my way. Akame tends to hold negative memories, as many people do, which wrongfully guides him. It hurts. Fickle mutual favours. In Akame's pain, he agrees to exchange with Kumo. Akame gets freedom from his pain, and Kumo gets Akame's life. Kumo embodies Akame's irrational thoughts and strong negative feelings. As when Akame dies, then so does Kumo, because Kumo is Akame. The way Eve wrote the lyrics about Akame and Kumo's exchange is really beautiful. Hana Gokoro refers to Akame's fickle heart, but the other definition is a flower heart. The love to let my pain end is fully bloomed, and my heart's petals start to fall and scatter over me in my final moments. Goodbye. It accurately captures the calm and serene feeling of choosing death. Akame accepts this, and looks as though he's going to sleep, only for Zukun to make Akame realise that he's a lonely boy that wants to be loved. This realisation turns into panic and regret. Akame gets a window of opportunity to change his mind, which isn't something that everyone gets. Zukun shows him the real light to escape from his pain. Teru Teru Bozu dolls also keep rain away, but in this case, it's a whole flood. Zukun is one powerful doll. The whole laundry gets washed, similar to Tokyo Ghetto, but changes into butterflies. Butterflies can represent metamorphosis, suggesting that Akame has changed. This change affects Kumo, as he's turning into butterflies, but not completely, suggesting that he'll come back again at some point. The wind is less chaotic and calm, meaning Akame's mind is less turbulent, and for the first time, we see him smile. That's it from me. Click on the playlist for more Eve breakdowns. And until next time, take care.